here with Ryan Stoddart, the Victory Fighting Championships brain, but venturing into the wrestling world with Victory Wrestling Challenge. And we're all done. We're tearing down here at the Ralston Arena. What were your general impressions uh, of the first wrestling event in this format? You know, I, I was happy, man. Uh, the fans seemed really appreciative of it. Uh, I know we had a lot of people really weren't sure what the event was going to be. I, I even had a bunch of MMA fighters texting me this week going, hey, man, can I wrestle Friday? I don't think they really understood the concept itself, but once people came in, they saw the setup, they saw, uh, you know, how, how things were going to go throughout the night. Um, watching the athletes really appreciate having the walkouts, really parading them uh, as such. Um, it, it went really well. I was really happy, and uh, I, I can't wait to do the next one with uh, a little bit bigger names, um, a little bit uh, different promotional aspects. Figuring out a way to get some of the more the clubs in the high schools behind us, um, but, but continue to grow in a positive way. General feedback from the athletes has been positive. Where do you see the growth of wrestling in this style format? Obviously, you've hit, you've hit a home run with the MMA side, but what's it going to take to hit a home run with the wrestling side? Honestly, it's going to take support. I mean, you know, the, at the end of the day, I, I know everybody likes to talk about how much they love wrestling, but here's an opportunity for them to come out, watch it, have a great time. I don't know that I've ever heard of any other place in the world where you can drink beer and watch really good wrestling. So, uh, you know, we have a beautiful venue here. Um, if you, there wasn't a bad seat in the house all night long, I know a lot of people were happy. The kids were having a good time. I mean, this is the future of the sport. This is the way it should be presented. And uh, I'm very proud of what we accomplished here tonight. Zach Dominguez helped you set up from the wrestling thing because you, you don't come from a wrestling background. How instrumental was Zach in, in helping put this all together? Dude, Zach's awesome. He's got so many good contacts with the athletes and and coaches and, and other people in the world uh, uh, that, that made this process very easy, you know, and, and uh, having Trent and Travis Paulson uh, associated with the first event made all the sense in the world and, you know, it was really great watching a guy like Josh Einan, who isn't even on anyone's radar, come in and beat a guy like Evan Brown, who's you know, ranked top 10 in the U U.S. right now. I mean, that's the stuff that's not supposed to happen, but that's what I want to be able to do is, is put matches together with guys that normally don't wrestle, don't get that opportunity, and, and watch them potentially uh, get a good win and, and go, oh, hey, maybe I should pursue uh, senior-level wrestling. 